Hello everyone, this is Joey Mallory. I just want to show you a quick um, video on my trans body transformation from uh, at the time I joined Lifetime Fitness, uh, which is back in July, I think, and then uh, to the present, which is uh, July as well, 2008. So when your transformation join, when I first joined Lifetime Fitness, I just went crazy. I mean, I just went heavy, I didn't do cardio, I didn't care about my diet. I ballooned up to um, 212, I believe, maybe even higher. But um, I just, I was lifting heavy, I was working on my squats, I was trying to get trying to get strong, which I did. Uh, I PR'd at 305 or 315 uh, on my squat and deadlift and like my bench press, I was able to do um, dumbbell press of 115 pounds, 115 pounds on each arm, which is amazing. I, I could never picture myself doing that um, ever since, you know, I don't know what it is, but I, I was getting strong, but I was also getting big. and. I just didn't feel like I was getting healthy. So I decided um, in the fall, I believe, or was it fall or spring? February 2018 is they had a 60 day challenge and I decided to do the 60 day challenge just to give me a little bit of motivation. And I think I weighed at 207 when it started the challenge with a 16 or 20% body fat. Um, so with the first week I decided to um, I discovered intermittent fasting and so I decided to just do it slowly I was doing 12 hour fast and then 12 hour eating window and then slowly start cutting off my carbs and my sugar and not all the way so then the second week I felt good I mean actually it didn't feel good I felt weak my body was craving sugar craving carbohydrates and my lips were getting uh, weak I was getting exhausted easily in regards to my workout so I had to adjust my workout to my strength and my uh, stamina but then the following week it picked up again I think that's when my body started adapting to the fat burning instead of a glucose uh, burning or sugar burning as an energy source and I started feeling good I started extending my fast to a 16 hour fast uh, totally uh, started eating like twice a day instead of three times a day um, totally cut off the carbs totally cut off the sugar uh, no rice, no pasta, no um, anything processed, carbs I didn't eat, I didn't eat beans, I didn't eat legumes, um, but you know, I ate a lot of t tons of salad, I do like one bag to two bags a day with eggs, olive oil, coconut oil, uh, nuts, cheese, brie cheese, cheddar cheese, I add in there, and it just keeps me full the whole time, and sometimes I end up eating just once a day just because I wasn't hungry and that helps a lot with my weight loss and then I start incorporating more of the cardio, slow steady cardio so it's more a fat burning stage instead of just anabolic uh, stage so that helped a lot as well in my weight loss so I went from 209 to 12 to all the way to 174 right now I said at 174 with 11% body fat so I'm just going to give you a quick uh, body pictures of my, my body transformation from 209, uh, 212 to 209 to 174 right now, which I said at 174 with 11% body fat. So hopefully my goal is at really 170 to a below 10% body fat. So we'll see how how I get there. I'll continue posting my journey and see you know how effective this ketogenic diet is. But so far I'm really loving it. I'm not hungry. Uh, I do cheat once in a while, uh, probably like once every two weeks or once a week. Uh, but some of my cheats are really crazy. I eat like fruit, you know, I have like a fruit salad or, or whatever. So it's nothing crazy. I don't go crazy with pizza. I don't go crazy with noodles yet. So, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, hopefully I get to 170 in by August or by September with a 10% or below 10% body fat. That's my goal. Thank you.